All right, everybody, uh, Matt here, and I am here at Maker's Mark. We're actually uh, in the innovation room today, which is the first barrel pick that's ever been done in the innovation room because they kicked us out of the cave. So here we are, and uh, I'm just gonna go through the process of doing a Maker's pick so you all understand. So basically, this is kind of where it all starts. This is a stave of, this is the French, toasted French, uh, or toasted French oak and essentially there's five different oak profiles and you make a combination of 10 of these staves that go back in the barrel of whiskey for an additional nine weeks. So the real trick here is uh, for, for retailers is to do a combination of staves that's interesting. So almost I would guess that the majority of these permutations have actually been done in some form or another by some retailer in the country. Um, in past years, we've done we've done pure pure staves of each one, um, but I'll just kind of go through them really quick, and then uh, we'll stop, and then I'll come back when we actually have a couple of selections to go through. So, this is the baked American pure. This is this to me. This is just my opinion. Um, this is gonna be sort of the most, the most vanilla, the sort of the sweetest one. Uh, I get like a lot of fresh cut oak on the nose of this. And maybe just sort of touch of honey as well, a little bit more honey sweetness, not sort of those darker, more roasted toasted flavors. So you're not gonna get any kind of coffee flavors in this one. You can take a look at the color there. It's not quite as dark as some of the others. This is the seared French cuvee. So maybe getting a touch darker. This is where you really start to pick up some of that traditional French aroma, some of that kind of toasted oak. Um, I think a toasted marshmallow is the best way to describe the flavor of this particular one. So you'll just start to get that. I still get kind of that, that, that toasted, uh, combination of honey and like that toasted aroma as well. Hmm. That's one I that's one that I don't particularly remember in the pure series, but um, I'm really liking the smell of that. Okay, so this is the Makers 46. This is the one that, that can be gotten at any time and actually have a cast strength version of this now. So <sighs> nice balance of the toasted, roasted aromas, and you still get some of those higher fruit tones as well. It's really a balanced, it's really a balanced whiskey. You can take a look at the color there. It gets a little darker. This is the roasted French Mindian. Am I saying that correctly? Mondial. Mondial. <laughs> so I'm not saying it correctly. <laughs> Little touch of a savory note here. Maybe more of sort of a woodsy aroma as well. Yeah, kind of a sweet woodsy note and maybe like a little touch of mintiness on this one. So it's that more of that herbal mint and as opposed to sort of more of the, the toasted flavor. Maybe a little touch of coffee in that one. And then this is the toasted French spice. It's really interesting to taste them in order from kind of light to dark because when you do them in reverse order, you kind of get the spice hit first. And they, to me, they tend to smell like a little bit more roasted, toasted, a little bit darker um, when you do reverse, but just kind of building up to it. Well, I've smelled them all. I'm going to taste this one. Big spice, baking spice, cinnamon. We get the orchard fruit as well. Kind of an apple pie thing going on here. Nice spicy finish, dries out. You know, these are cast strength, but they're still very drinkable at this. So really any combination of these is gonna taste pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna stop and then come back to the video once we do some combinations of these uh, to see where we get. All right.
Okay, we're back. After some extensive research, um, we landed on three different blends that we thought would kind of contrast. So you wanna pick a few different things. So the first one is 50-50 between uh, the seared French cuvee and the toasted French spice. So number two and number five. So five staves of this and five staves of that. And then the second one we went for was the two lightest ones, uh, the baked American pure and the seared French cuvee. Okay, so that's that's a little bit of a different approach to this. And then the last one was kind of a was kind of a combination of the majority of them. So one baked American pure, one seared French cuvee. Uh, I'm sorry, two seared French cuvee, three uh, French uh, Mondian, said it correctly, and four of the toasted French spice. So kind of a, a, a little bit of a mix of, of the majority of them. Um, tasted one, two, and three blends, um, and they were all a little bit different. I think that we liked the nose the best on the first one. Um, uh, the second one was a nice combination, but maybe a little bit maybe a little bit too light, kind of lacking some of the depth of the spice. And the third one, which is a combination of all of them, I don't know that anything in particular popped out. So we went back and forth, and I think we ended up with the first one, which is, uh, we're gonna call this Bourbon World Double French. So that's five staves of the seared French cuvee and five staves of the toasted French spice. So this really nice, combination of fruit and spice. So sort of the best parts of Maker's Mark, that really nice weeded fruit that you get um, with just even regular Maker's Mark, but then the spice that you're gonna get from these seared staves. So really to me, it's best of both worlds, double French, bourbon world. Uh, looking forward to getting this one in. Cheers.